Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Nadine. Welcome back to my channel. For today's video, it's gonna be a super fun one because it's gonna be like a mini lookbook slash mini makeup tutorial. This look, or for this video, is actually gonna name it the Arto Aesthetic or How to Be Arto or Arto Aesthetic Tutorial. But I was researching on it because I was like, what even is Arto? And I found out that it's definitely way more than just an aesthetic. So I wanna tell you guys about it because I was not educated and I want to share with you guys stuff that I learned. Yeah, okay, let's get started. Upon my research, aka two Google clicks on two different articles, I'm gonna link them down below, I learned that Arto is actually a POC or people of color movement on them taking control on how they want to be perceived as. It showcases how they, us, or we, because I was talking about this with my sister, I was like, wait, are we POC? There are definitely like stereotypes. Like, I mean, not everyone stereotypes us, but there are stereotypes. Us being uncultured or being unable to appreciate art other than art from our own culture. When in fact, we can be art and we are art. And that's why the movement started off as P POC, like taking selfies and like putting a background of like the Mona Lisa or Starry Night behind them because they're like, yo, we can also be part of art and we are part of art yeah i think this movement's really good really great and very interesting that's why i wanted to share it with you in this quick way and you can also be part of the conversation down below because obviously i'm not sure if i said everything right so if i did say something wrong you can let me know and i think it's all about just breaking stereotypes and embracing who you are what you like and just being unashamed about who you are as a person, you know, because we can all appreciate art and we can all like things. And yeah, I just want to say that not everyone stereotypes, but there are those stereotypes that we can and have to break. But I am glad that I read up on this and that now I know that Arto is not just the aesthetic that I like and I appreciate. It's really way more than that. It's a movement and we can all be part of it. So now I don't know what to call this video. I'm just gonna call it, let's go! Does it get easier? Yes, it gets easier. The more you know. First, starting off with outfits, let me just pick a few from my closet. Thanks, Saya. The first look is pastel themed. Of course, I would bust out my thrifted jacket and the stripes were a must, so I paired it with this top. And for my bottoms, I have my space themed embroidered shorts for a casual look. This look would not be complete without my trusty Can Can backpack. The pastel pink and blue is very me. I got this bag from this website called bai.jp, which is a website that helps you buy items from Japanese websites if you're not from Japan. This is really helpful because it cuts down shipping costs if you're buying from a lot of different websites, as well as if you don't speak Japanese. You basically pick out items and place your order through Bai, then the items get shipped to their warehouse, then to your home. Overall, I really like the service that they provide and I think it's very helpful and easy to use and I got my items in around two weeks. Alright, for outfit 2, it reminds me a bit of a little kid. I paired this colorful striped hoodie with an overall dress thing for a fun, playful look. The last outfit is pretty chill. I have a loose graphic tee paired with a maroon skirt. And to add even more color since I love color, I put on this oversized light pink denim jacket. You'll figure that out. Now that we have the outfit on, it's time for makeup. We are gonna get our hair out of our face with this really cute headband that I got from Miniso. I always start my makeup off with skincare and I'm using the sunscreen from Biora, it's called their Aqua Rich one. And this has a really light watery consistency and it smells like lemon. I'm just quickly going to go through my usual base makeup routine. You guys have seen this a lot of times so I'm just gonna speed past it, but I do foundation and concealer. To shape my eyebrows, I'm using Benefit's Cabrow, which is a brow pomade. This stuff is really pigmented and it doesn't budge even if you sweat throughout the day. I outline the shape of my brows first, then fill them in, and I really go light when it comes to the inner part of my eyebrows. 
then I'm setting everything with Benefits Brow Gel. Um, if I see any parts that I need to still like fill in, if I miss out on anything, I'm just gonna use a brow powder from Vanilla Co. Now that the brows are done, I'm gonna do eyeshadow. Let's start off with an all over nude shade from Vanilla Co. With my trusty BYS Berries palette, I'm picking a tan orangey shade as a transition color on the crease. The key of this look is seamless shadows because we are packing a lot of color onto the lid so we want to make sure that everything's blended properly. I'm using this gorgeous iridescent purple eyeshadow from Bronx Cosmetics and applying it in the inner one-fourth of my lid. The shadow is super pigmented and I got this from Hong Kong and I totally wish that I got more shades. I'm adding a pinky shade from the BYS palette on my outer corner and into the crease for that pop of pink. I love pink eyeshadows, you guys know that. And I'm just blending it and buffing it and making sure everything again is well blended. I'm applying a light champagne shimmery shade to the inner corner for a pop and also underneath my brow bone. After that, eyeshadow is pretty much done. For eyeliner, I used the Caroline Liquid Eyeliner to create a precise wing. I'm now curling my eyelashes and applying Vanilla Co's mascara. This mascara is my holy grail because it does not run at all throughout the day and it keeps my lashes curled, which is a rare thing for me. It's also waterproof and sweatproof. For the rest of my face makeup, I'm gonna breeze through it and tell y'all what I'm doing because it's pretty much the same as I always do. For some light contouring, I'm using Glossier Cloud Paint in Dusk. For some light bronzing, I'm using Benefit's Hula Light. For liquid highlight, I'm using Pony Moly's Crystal Light Aura. I always use these three products. For my blush, I'm using Vanilla Coast Cheer Gradation Cheek, and this is pretty pigmented. For my highlight, I'm using JCAT's You Glow Girl Baked Highlighter, and it has a pinky sheen. For lips, I quickly dab on a nudie pink lipstick, and I'm pretty much good to go for my face. I really love the eyeshadow look, so I hope you guys can also try to recreate it. Y'all know that I was never good at doing my hair, so I'm gonna try to curl it to the best of my ability. Yup, I know, it's still bad and messy and I really don't know how to do my hair. So I'm just gonna tie it half up so that it wouldn't look that bad and just hope for the best. I really like this hairstyle because it's easy to do. I like pulling my hair back like this sometimes. So that concludes the look, guys. Yes, it's very simple. I think it's just literally all in the eyeshadow, TBH. And I hope you guys enjoyed this fun little video. This video was from my heart to yours. And I hope to see you guys soon in my next one. Yeah, bye! Thank you so much for watching.